Hey, how's it going? It's Rafi here again with Case Suspension. And what we're gonna be talking about today is actually installing the four port injector upgrade into your 4.0 liter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys what to do. All right, so in order to get started with this swap, what we're gonna do first is actually remove the air filter assembly. If you have a factory one, obviously unbolt the whole cover uh, or just the tube, whichever is easier for you. Uh, if you're running an aftermarket setup like we are here, we're going to go ahead and just unzip it out and then disconnect the connections for your uh, uh, throttle, your kickdown cable, and your cruise control if equipped from the throttle body. And these guys, just be very careful and should just pop right off. And these slide like that. Alright, so now what we got to do is actually remove the cable hold down from the intake manifold. There's going to be three 10 millimeter bolts holding it on. Uh, for those of you guys who are running the newer intakes from the 99 and up, I believe you only have two. So they're going to come right over here. There's going to be one, two, and three on the older styles. And go ahead and take these out. So at this point, you wanna go ahead and vent the gas cap just to relieve any built up pressure. All right, so now that we got the gas cap uh, removed just to relieve any unnecessary pressure, uh, what we're gonna do is actually remove the pigtails from the injectors. Now there's two different styles. For those of you that go up to a 1998 model year, you're gonna have these square styles to where they're gonna have a little metal retaining clip. Easiest way I find is to use a pick and just move that retaining clip out of the way to then remove the pigtail. For those of you with the 99 and up Cherokees with the 4.0, uh, you're going to have something that looks something like this, to where you have this red clip here. You're going to have to actually pull it back to release it, to unlock, and then you can go ahead and pull it off the injector. So let's go ahead and pull our injectors out. Alright, so now that we got the injector pigtails all removed, uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the fuel lines from the fuel rail. So in order to do this, on the older models, there's just a clip you can push in with your fingers and remove the fuel line. On the newer model Jeeps, uh, you're gonna have to use a fuel line disconnect tool. You can get this at any parts store, even a Harbor Freight if you have one nearby. You just set it inside of the rail, shove it into the line, and it should disconnect the fuel line for you. It's okay if a little bit of fuel comes out, that's completely normal. Just set these off to the side, that way we can remove our rail. All right, so now that we're ready to get the fuel rail out, uh, there's gonna be four eight millimeter or five sixteenth bolts holding it on. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up. All right, so now that we got all the fuel rail hold down bolts out, we're gonna have to remove the rail with the injectors. Now, if you're running the OEM injectors in here, which most of you probably are, it might be a tight fit. There's a lot of carbon buildup on the intake side that really just kind of seizes those injectors in there. Don't worry about it, just give it a good yank. You're not gonna break anything. Yank those puppies out. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this guy out. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the old injectors out of the fuel rail. Make sure you got the new ones handy some petroleum jelly or grease for the o-ring so they don't rip and a rag to clean off the fuel rail so let's go ahead and pull these out so now that we got the old injectors out we got the ports on the fuel rail all cleaned up real nice we're gonna take our new injectors take some jelly or some grease whichever one you prefer I'm just gonna lube up these O-rings just so that they don't rip when we install them into the fuel rail. And now these things, you might have to give it a little push. But they'll set right in. All right, so now the OEM injectors have these retaining clips on the fuel injectors. You're gonna wanna remove them to get rid of the old injectors. And on the new ones, now there's a couple different styles. This specific style of injector does take them there's little slots on the ends here. So we're gonna go ahead and just slide these retaining clips back over. 
make sure they're locked and secure. So before you reinstall your fuel rail, what you can do is on these intake ports, you can actually take a pick or a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and clean out all of the carbon buildup that's in there. It's okay if some drops in, just try to scoop out as much as you can. Clean them all up, and then we're ready for our fuel rail. Now that we got everything all hooked back up, we can go ahead and hook up our bracket here for the throttle cables. All right, so now that we got everything all back together, we wanna to go ahead and reset the PCM. So what we wanna do is go ahead and remove the battery terminals, both positive and negative. And what you wanna do is go ahead and touch these two together for about 30 seconds. All right, so now that they've been together for about 30 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and hook them back up Tighten them down. All right, so now that you got your battery reconnected, you're gonna come inside the vehicle now. Go ahead and turn the ignition on. You're gonna turn your lights on. You're gonna turn your lights off. And turn the ignition off. Congratulations, you have officially reset your PCM. Now you can go ahead and start it. everybody so you have officially completed your injector upgrade on your engine so uh, now with this being said there are multiple different types of injectors that will work for your 4.0 or even 2.5 uh, 8 cylinder whichever model that you have uh, they are all available at casesuspensionlifts.com I'll go ahead and throw in the link in the description below uh, also if you have any questions comments concerns please feel free to give us a message and we'll be happy to answer anything for you so in the meantime as always from all of us here at Case Suspension to you. Happy trails.